Okay, this is my eco diesel that has been rebuilt. And I had got the motor in, and then I found out I have to redo the entire fuel system. Reason is, is this pump, the CP4 pump, gets aluminum. You can see aluminum down in here. And that aluminum goes throughout the entire fuel system. And it goes, it goes everywhere. So you have to clean out. They say replace, but I was able to clean my entire fuel system. And what I used was Dawn soap. And I took a high-pressure washer, and I sprayed a little Dawn soap in each of these lines. And I sprayed it with the pressure washer and did it about five times and got the aluminum out. You also have to, have to clean your fuel rails. You got to take the fuel rails off. And uh, this one has a sensor for pressure in the very back. This one has this sensor right, right here, right there. That one, when you take off and put on, there's a torque specification. You want to make sure that's right or your fuel rail pressure won't be right. But I sprayed the inside with uh, high pressure with Dawn soap. Clean that. Next, your uh, fuel line and your return line have to be, this is the, fuel line, this is the return line, have to be high pressure washed out. So five times with Dawn soap. Then you have to take out your lift pump out of your gas tank, remove the fuel filter, scrub the inside of the gas tank after removing all the fuel with Dawn soap with a brush and do it five times with a pressure washer and then take a dry towel and wipe out all the water, blow out all the water, clean that out five times. That should work. Next thing you have to do is when you replace your CP4 pump, which is right here, you want to loosen an injector. Well, I did it this way. You don't have to do it this way, but you want to use this uh, tool, which this tool locks. This is used for timing the motor, but just in this case, you want to lock in the crankshaft top dead center on piston number one on the compression stroke. That's this one. And the way I did it, I just put a wrench on the, the uh, crankshaft and I cranked it around. And when you crank it around on the compression stroke, you'll notice the, uh, if you loosen it up, of course, you'll notice it rising in the air. Well, that's the compression stroke. So once you're locked in, you have this locked in on your crankshaft, you're 30 degrees, I believe, past up dead center. You now are going to put your CP4 pump, CP4 pump on. However, the pump has to be timed. That's locked. Compression stroke, top dead center. You're gonna. There's a gear on here. You're gonna turn the gear to the hole. There's a hole on the gear. I think it's this mark. I'm not for sure, but on the gear, there's a hole. You're gonna line the hole of the gear even with that. You're just gonna draw an ink line. Once you have that lined up, then you turn the gear counterclockwise 65 degrees. You use a degree wheel. Put the CP4 pump on and it's timed. So if you're going to replace all your injectors because they have aluminum in it, you want to get one of these. It's about $75. It's a diagnostic. It pretty much tells you it does everything. These things are amazing. It will allow you to do the injector codes. And the injector codes are these codes, get one I can read, that code right there, 8RZD557, each injector has to be coded. So it's injector uh, number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, you don't do it by firing order, you do it that way. So once that's done, it should run. Uh, my prior videos, I had to replace a broke a lot of broken parts. I had to pull the motor out. So I don't know if this will happen to you, but if your pump does come loose or seizes up, you'll probably have to pull your motor. Anyway, big deal for me. And I like to see if it's going to run after two months of working on this thing.
going crazy. Will it run? Well, of course, I've already run it. Music to my ears. Anyway, thanks for watching the Eco Diesel Rebuild video.